uh, Will Cunningham with the post. Dwight, you set a new career high against Kent State a couple of weeks ago, broke it again tonight. What has it been like out there for you recently, just putting up these big numbers consistently? Um, just, just trusting my work I put in in the off season. You know, I had a longer off season than most. Um, and, you know, I told myself that when I come back, you know, I wanted to come back and make noise and be even better than I was going into my rehab and everything. So that was the main focus, you know, to come back and, you know, really just be aggressive and know that there's always an advantage in the post and um, it puts uh, less pressure on the guards and everything else. And um, especially with dudes like Miles, who had to guard the best player every um, night in and night out. So, you know, uh, you know, this team is, you know, um, basically the, the better I play, you know, the better we are. Actually, with the post, uh, AJ, nice day from three today. What were you seeing out there? Uh, just the normal stuff I see most days. If people give me a little bit of space, I'm able to have a fast and high release, so it's hard to be able to contest it. But just missing the first few, just keep on shooting. That was my biggest thing. Uh, Dwight Grissom with WUB. Um, coming into the game, you knew it was going to be a tough matchup against Wright there on the other side. Um, what was your game plan coming in, and what were you able to do well um, to, to drop 31? Um, you know, just go at them, you know, uh, it's always fun playing against other great bigs in the Mac and, you know, uh, you know, my teammates kept messing with me the whole week. They was like, you know, you can't let them get one up on you. So, you know, I don't make it, like I said, I think I said against me after the Ball State game, you know, I don't make it a one-on-one -on -one game. Um, you know, I just try to be dominant on both ends and as far as rebounding and ball screen coverages and, you know, on offense, just attacking. I know, um, Nine times out of ten, if uh, if it's one on one, then you know I'm going to score. You know that's how hard I work, and that's how much confidence I have in myself. So, you know, at at the end of the day, you know, you know, um, there are other great bigs that you know we have to guard and you know make reads for. But at the, you know they got to guard me too. So you know, that's kind of what I what I go think about going into games. And Dwight sort of going off that, uh, they were pretty consistently switching out their base because of foul trouble. How does that change your mentality when you know that the other bigs are in, the other teams' bigs are in foul trouble and you can keep going at them? Yeah, it just it just makes me uh, it just makes me keep going, um, knowing that uh, um, our coaches are big on you know shot faking and being on balance and everything like that. So I know that um, once I get them in the air and I give them contact, it's pretty much a foul every time. So. Once I see that they were calling it, you know, I just, you know, stuck to it, and you know, it made our offense easier than having to run sets and everything. Either of you, um, we saw a little bit of miscommunication there in the first half. What did you guys do to alleviate those issues? Um, just a little bit more urgency. Um, you know, after the Toledo game, that's all we've been stressing is just urgency, especially on the defensive end. Uh, you know, mis mistakes are going to happen. You know, mishaps and lapses. But we try to minimize those as much as we can and um, just try having urgency on both ends. Uh, AJ, after a tough start to conference play, back-to-back uh, -back wins, what has that been like just to sort of get back on the right track, a couple of home wins this week? Uh, the biggest thing is just like getting that confidence going into now, well, a two, uh, two-game road stretch, just to kind of get it rolling to go into those. And, you know, Akron's a really good team. To be able to start building this momentum going into that is a big thing for us. And really just trying to get back on track, like you said, after a rough start, just getting the groove back and starting to roll and get the momentum. AJ, we got to see you and the other two AJs all on the court tonight with um, some different rotations. Um, just what were you kind of feeling out there in those different, different ones? I just love to be out there with both of them. I like to confuse people. Somebody yells, AJ, we're all looking. It's one of my favorite things. When we're all together and somebody says, AJ, everybody turns, you know, what? That kind of thing. Love that. Yeah. Uh, Max Menge, WUB, uh, following up on the A.J. Brown, how much has he impressed you guys as a freshman? He's really good, man. <laughs> that kid's good, man. He's uh, a, he, a great basketball player right there. He has no fear, and he keep, and you know he works hard. He's a good kid, man, and we're blessed to have him. You know, school, you know, a lot of mid-major schools don't get kids like that, you know, and he's so humble. You know, he, he works hard every day. He, he plays with energy, and he knows that, you know, he has a mismatch, you know, he's going to cook them, whether they're a six-year or um, a freshman like him. But, you know, he's 
he's going to be good, man. He's so ahead of the curve as far as, you know, other freshmen. You know, that kid's going to be good, man. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, really proud of our guys, um, you know, coming off the win uh, the other day. Um, I thought we had great energy from the start, great energy in the second half. Um, you know, we shared the basketball, had some really good individual performances. Um, you know, big key, like we've been talking about, is five turnovers. You know, four in the first half, one in the second. And I thought a lot of those were unforced. But when we take care of the ball, we get good shots. You know, good things are going to happen. I thought A.J. Clayton and A.J. Brown were really big off the bench. Uh, gave us a good left scoring and rebounding uh, defensively. And then Dwight Wilson, you know, was a man tonight. Just a phenomenal individual performance. And, you know, our guys did a great job of feeding him the basketball, uh, putting him in position to score. And he definitely delivered. Uh, we're coming in with the post. Um, you mentioned Dwayne, obviously. 20 points in the second half. Felt like at times you're just going to him every position. What does it do for the team when he's in that kind of a form? Yeah, I mean, he, he's, uh, you know, big key to our offense. We always talk about paint touches, post touches. Um, he's obviously, you know, the, the key guy down there. And, you know, he's he's done a good job. I think he's shooting probably 60% from the field. So we got to keep going to him, put him in different positions. Um, you know, different teams have fronted him. They've double teamed him. Uh, tonight they played him one-on-one, -on -one and, and, you know, we just kept going to him. Uh, Saturday when we play, they're going to double team him. So we got to be ready for that, uh, you know, get to our spots. And, you know, he's done a really good job this year of handling that double team, and we'll have to do a really good job on Saturday. But, I mean, to go 13, 16, you know, they weren't a lot of easy points, you know, maybe four of them. But they, they've, they were physical with them. They bodied them. You know, he did a great job of kind of step through, getting angles. And, uh, you know, finishing 13 for 16, you know, in that type of game is really good. Ashley Beach with the post. I um, mentioned two of the AJs earlier. We got to see all three out on the court together today. Um, you presented some different rotations. What kind of went into those decisions? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we started the same group we started last game. Um, thought, you know, both games got off to pretty good starts. Um, AJ Cl Clayton and AJ Brown. Uh, gave us a huge lift offensively. I thought A.J. Brown did a really good job of, of penetrating, you know, got in the lane, uh, got probably maybe three or four layups, a couple of and ones. You know, he was really big. And you know, I thought defensively they were both really good as well. Um, you know, Miles Brown, 0 for 5, 0 for 3, but he did a phenomenal job on the defensive end. You know, what we asked him to do on, on uh, Lamar Norman, um, you know, in 34 minutes, that takes a lot of energy out of you. And just, you know, his defense is really good, making him work for everything. Uh, yeah, Coach Grayson Wolf from WWB. Um, you mentioned Norman. He was four or five um, in the first half, three or four from three. Um, and then the second half, he was one of nine from three. Did you guys do anything different with him, or what do you think happened? No, I, you know, I thought he, I mean, he's a great player. You know, a couple times I thought we let him get too comfortable. Um, you know, he's a guy that you have to make him put the ball on the floor. Uh, he can shoot deep. He can shoot off ball screens. They run some really good actions for him. I thought our awareness was really good in the second half of you know whether he was coming off a wide pin down, a stagger, a ball screen, and uh, you know like I said, you know I thought our bigs did a good job of kind of shadowing him uh, coming off that ball screen, but Miles did a really good job contesting uh, everything, and you know, he's a, he's a really good player. That was a pretty close game throughout the first and second half. Uh, what moment do you think was kind of the the turnaround when you guys really broke away? Yeah, we, you know, we got, like you said, that six to eight point lead. And, and um, you know, when you're in that situation, we, you have to do what we did. You have to get the stop, the score to stop. You know, it went from like the eight to 11, 12 to give you a little cushion. And, you know, that, that might force what they do a little differently offensively. Uh, we knew they were going to go to Norman, you know, so we had you know, a little higher alert with him. Thought Miles did a really good job of denying him back the ball once he gave it up, which was big for us. Um, you know, and, and you know, we always talk about that when you extend the lead. You know, it's it's the stop, score, stop, score, and we had not been able to you know do that prior uh, games, so that was really good to see. Um, yes, started one and four in conference play, but back to back home wins this week. How big has that been just to sort of get back on track? Yeah, it was good to have a couple home games. You know, being in front of our home crowd, students are back. Awesome student section, um, the band. Uh, always good to hear the winning team, losing team. You know, cheer. But I think for us now, it's, it's the ability, can we do this on the road? Can we go to a, a really good team? Um, you know, we've struggled other than Ball State against those top-tier teams. 
And when you play those type of teams, your margin for error is smaller. You know, we, we got to go up there and limit our turnovers. You know, we got to block out. They got two, two of the best players in the league in uh, Castaneda and Enrique Freeman. So now can we take what we've done here these last two games on the road against a really good opponent uh, and get back to 500? It was a pretty physical game today. Did you see any fatigue from your team at any point? You know, I thought, you know, that long war the first half, you know, we've been in a couple of those where you know, normally at the 16 minute mark, you know, there's a media timeout. And I think it went down to the 1425 mark where it just kept going back and forth without a stoppage. And, you know, those are situations where you really got to mentally be tougher, you know, understand they're tired, you're tired, you know, you got to run a little bit harder, you got to get in your gap a little bit more, you got to block out more. Um, and I thought they made a little run there, you know, in that first war. But, you know, we, we, we called that timeout in the second half, I think, six, seven minute mark, um, you know, just to rest Miles, rest uh, Dwight, just because we were demanding so much of them offensively and defensively. But uh, I thought they did a good job finishing the game. Chase, you got anything? <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming. Good to see everyone.